section of data, the data will be presented. And that's what our chapter 2 is, presentation of data. Statistic is the science which deal with the collection, analysis and presentation of numerical data. Statistic means collecting information which means data which has been classified means presented the data and analyze the data that is the result. यहाँ पे जब information collect करते हैं उसको बोलते हैं data और data को classify करना means to present it and to analyze the data means to give result of that data. Now here the process of arranging ungrouped data or raw data into a proper form is called classification of data. Now here we will see the types of classification. One is qualitative, another one is quantitative. Qualitative variable means the collection of data on the attributes means non-numerical. Is called a qualitative variable. Example, religion, gender, honesty, literacy, which cannot be counted in numbers. Second one is quantitative variable. The collection of data on numerical variable is called quantitative data. Example, age of person, height, weight, income, production, sales, etc. which can be counted in numbers. Now here we will see there are two types of quantitative variable. One is discrete variable, another one is continuous variable. Discrete variable that is countable values. The classification of discrete variable is also known as discrete frequency distribution. And continuous variable that is uncountable infinite data. Classified of continuous variable is called a continuous frequency distribution. Remember this two thing which will be more clear when you will start with the exercise. Next, on the basis of class limit, continuous frequency distribution can be categorized into two ways. Exclusive frequency distribution and inclusive frequency distribution. This is quite important to understand that which one is the exclusive and which one is the inclusive frequency distribution. So here is the explanation for the exclusive. If the upper limit of any class and the lower limit of its succeeding class are same, then it is called exclusive class. Here you can see the this column of class where you can see it is 0 to 10. Next is 10 to 20. Matlab ke yahan pe jo 0 to 10 hai, 10 second room a column mein repeat ho raha hai. 10 to 20. Here we can see the 20 is repeating another, in another column. So this is how it will be seen an exclusive frequency distribution. Now I will show you about the inclusive. Inclusive frequency distribution. If the upper limit of any class and the lower limit of its succeeding class are not same, then it is called inclusive class. That is 0 to 9, 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39. Matlab ki number repeat nahi ho raha hai. next column mein, yahan 0 to 9 se stop ho gaya hai class aur dusra class 10 se start hua hai. So that means your inclusive frequency distribution and this one is your exclusive frequency distribution. It's quite important when we will go with the calculation. So this has to be understandable that which is the exclusive and which is the inclusive. Next, here we, the one more frequency distribution is cumulative frequency distribution. Some of the frequency up to the value of class is called cumulative frequency distribution. It means that the frequency are continuously added corresponding to each class interval in the series. Now here cumulative frequency is classified in two different types namely less than cumulative frequency distribution and more than cumulative frequency distribution. There is a calculation related to this which will be more clear when you will go with the calculation. Next, the frequency of each class interval are added successfully from top to the bottom and more than cumulative frequency distribution, the frequency of each class interval are added successfully from the bottom to top. After this video, you have to continue with the videos of the calculation of exercise which will be give you a clear idea about the whole thing of this chapter.